My savior. And the reason Scars aren't feasting on my liver right this minute. Bloody Scars. The spike in their activity has really thrown off my research. What are you working on, exactly? I'm looking for a lost Arcanist text known as the Elysian Manuscript. It was inscribed by early members of our order and has been lost for generations. Some Arcanists believe that their writings could help us predict the behavior of Shaper instruments. Imagine knowing if a relic will create firestorms or scorpions or shatter you into a thousand pieces. We could keep people safe. Indeed. Every little piece of knowledge we can scrape together helps. You're making progress? The heroic work done by my assistants, may they continue to seek answers beyond this life, led to a discovery. Turns out there was a far more ingenious way to pass knowledge along. Invisible runes. Invisible? Runes, yes. How do I... Aha, I picked your curiosity. You'll just have to continue on this adventure to find out, won't you? My... Uh, our research has revealed a potential site that may answer our questions. Just point me in the right direction. Er ah, Freelancer. What can Matthias Errol Sumner help you with today? I just wanted to see how you were doing. My research is progressing. I'm still alive and very happy about it. I intended to buy you a drink as thanks for the rescue, but then I remembered being banned from the bar. Uh, you're banned? Why? For, uh, starting fights. Not proud of it, it just happened. One minute someone's mocking Von Blatt's theory of diurnal obsolescence, the next minute you got bloody knuckles. You know how it is. Yeah, I know what you mean. Motions take over. Exactly. Sometimes old impulses take over. Old impulses? Growing up in the streets of Helios, you pick up some bad habits. Discourse, dialogue, civility, the Arcanist ways, those I had to learn. Lashing out is instinct. I didn't know you grew up on the streets. I don't advertise it. Everyone has a past. It's what you do now that matters. That's what I kept saying. I wanted to learn. I wanted to improve the world through knowledge. Still do. But it wasn't enough for some. I couldn't overlook my origins. Yet you persisted. I had to. I had to force open the doors they shut on me force open the door. The gateway, if the aperture could be widened and maintained. Oh, you're brilliant. But I didn't... Apologies. I meant me. I must pursue the strain of thought. Talk later. What do you think would make... Hey, freelancer! Hey. I can't believe I'm talking to you. You're like the most badass freelancer in Fort Tarsus. My name's Neeson. Hello. Hey, aren't you teamed up with that cypher, Owen? Yeah, why? Yeah, no reason. I just thought you might be concerned about that cypher school thing of his. Not at all. Figures he wouldn't want to tell you. Step carefully. He's my cipher. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm a huge Owen fan. I'm just glad he recovered. What are you talking about? I heard Owen was over-altered in cipher school. Over-altered? Yeah, I just thought you should know what people are saying, right? Thanks, but that kind of information isn't useful. Yeah, I get it. You already knew. But if you ever need any info on anyone else in the fort, I'm pretty plugged in. Yeah, no thanks. No need to close that door. I Let's just agree to maybe meeting in the future. Or let's not. Yeah, I got you. Catch you later. There were so many, and I... I could... Lucky Jack. Keeping busy? You know it. Just had a contract dealing with Scars. I show up and they're messing with a relic. Good thing some buddies jump on the call. We've got elementals swarming, scars everywhere, then a love-struck Korox shows up. What happened? Teamwork, fancy flying, and one heck of a lucky shot. Next thing I know, the relic's silent, the Korox has a new friend, and we come out all right. Starting to see where you got the nickname. It could have gone straight sideways, I'm telling you, but that's what family's for. Stronger together, right? Backup's handy, but it's nice to fly out solo, too. Time in your own, just you and a cypher against the wild. I hear you. Whatever's right for the moment. My next gig might be solo at this point. Is there a problem? 
My buddies and I thought we'd team up on another contract. Last one went well, so why not, right? Now they can't agree which job to take. I just want something logged in the pending contracts report. What are your options? An arcanist looking for a lost vault? Gotta love some mystery. Or the fort needs people to take on hostile wildlife. Guaranteed action there. Do you really want to pass up a chance to uncover lost secrets? That's what makes the job exciting, isn't it? All right, buddy, using you as the tiebreaker. Wish me luck. I'm not sure you need it. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you around. Freelancer, hey, thanks again for your help. Business is already looking up. Selling the thunder, huh? Hey, people laugh, but the uniform makes the soldier. Ever seen the Dominion? They know it. If you want to win a war, presentation is half the battle. A javelin's designed to intimidate, annihilate, exterminate, eradicate, and if you're really good, obliterate. You have to inspire fearful awe in your enemies. Plus, it's just cool flying in style. <laughs> that it is. May as well have fun while you're scaring people. Figure there's a reason we call the suits javelins. Of course there is. Imagine if they caught it a skewer or something. Oh crap, run! A squad of skewers is coming our way. Doesn't have quite the same ring. Not unless you're having a cookout. You seem pretty passionate about this. I love what I do. And it's important. I want to help the good guys win. When a freelancer shows up in their javelin, I want people to remember it. Your enemies will shudder, your allies will salute. I like the sound of that. A little thunder and lightning to make an entrance. You get it. Why do people fear a big storm rolling in? Probably because it can kill you. That's right. There's power in that sky. And pain if you don't respect it. So you just let me know if I can fix you up with anything. A javelin's always got room for more thunder. Will do. See you around. in Arcanist Matthias. So how did you learn about where we're headed? From very old field notes. There was something the writer wasn't saying. Something important they didn't write down. I'm certain of it. So you had a hunch. A hypothesis. Right. What secrets must they hold? Let's find out. Yes. 
Unusual design. Hmm. I've seen this before. It won't trigger whether the right stimulus. Which is what? A shift in energy. We create a big enough change the wires detect it, the marker triggers. Like a fire alarm? Exactly. That shaper object across from the marker is made for echoes. Got it. Let's build a fire. It's working, but the marker won't trigger without a larger shift in energy. More echoes needed. We should be close. of shaper dynamics, rigging the marker to detect something as simple as a shift in energy. Oh, 
freelancer help. Slowly. I hear some associate. Slowly. This task will certainly require many uncomfortable nights in the jungle. This book you're looking for. The Elysian Manuscript. Right. Um, what do you think you'll find in there? Find? Well, Arcanists pursue the truth, but time twists truth, hides it. The manuscript is a window to a very old truth. Precisely.
If it isn't my favorite sweet talker. You've been busy. I try. You pulled Wright's arse out of the fire. Yarrow was here doing a reenactment. I had a good feeling about you ever since you turned up. Keep proving me right, okay? The fort's home. I've got to look out for it. No argument here. It's good you settled in. Not everyone does. And I'm guessing Fort Tarsus wasn't in your plans before. Well... The Heart of Rage. I didn't know what would happen then or where I'd land after. Turns out it was here. Happy you stuck around? Yeah. Not sure what I expected, but this place grows on you. I wasn't meant to be here myself. I was on a strider out of Heliost. Supposed to end up in Antium. What happened? Cataclysm. The sky turned yellow, ground changed under us. The survivors were brought here. You never got to Antium? Didn't have the means to try again at the time, and now? I got good work, had a kid. The fort's home. Glad you feel the same. When you're here, anyway. Which reminds me, I should run checking your javelin before you're off again. Thanks, Zoe. I'll see you around. What are you- Hey, good to see you. You're a freelancer, right? I think you knew that. I never assume. Like, I'm a laundryman now, right? But not very long ago, I was a cleaning guy. I figured you were like me, always on the move. We're not that alike. Sure we are. Anyway, you know Yarrow, right? That super old freelancer? Sure, I know Yarrow. You think you know him, but did you hear about him and the Tessalar? No. And I should be going. Ah, oh, too bad. Hey, do you have time for lunch? I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, we're both so busy, huh? So, all right, I'll see you around. Freelancer? Freelancer, yes, excellent, you're here. Matthias, uh, need something? Need something? Oh, no, no, no. Have something. You remember that strange energy the runes emitted? I remember you mentioning something while I collected them. I managed to isolate and identify the energy pattern. I passed it along to your cipher. Who can now help me find those invisible runes? Which are the key to unlocking another impenetrable mystery. Which means you want me to go find more of them. Yes, the more the better. With enough, I'm certain I can find the location of the Elysian Manuscript. Certain. I have several leads. It's very promising. Talk later. You got it, Matthias. All right there. So, what are you after today? Matthias Sumner. Is he really banned from the bar? That arcanist? Oh yeah. Technically, he's not allowed within half a click, but the fort's not that big. Half a click? He didn't mention that. What happened exactly? He's sitting over there with a bunch of brains. They had about five rounds of silver, no sign of drying up. They start arguing about some nonsense. I don't know what God said, but Matthias throws a drink at one guy. Then Genius Boy stands up on the table, shouts, Do the math or shove off! And flings himself at the guy. Smashed the hell out of the table, tried to stab a guy with a busted chair leg. I had to call the Sentinels. Huh, I guess he really likes math. Yeah, that makes it all better. Anyways, everything going all right around here lately? No curses or anything? Doesn't work like that. Guy before Dusty, Zeno something, took over, changed the name to the Black Emporium, two months later, hit by lightning, inside the fort. Sentinels found him fried to a crisp and fused to his chair in the back room. Glitch crap just happens. You don't hear about it beforehand. 
I see plenty of things in the jungle just as weird as that. The further out into the frontier you go, the more glitched it gets. I'm not sweating it. Besides, this is the only spot to get a drink between Antium and glitching Allheim. It's worth nearly as much as the city of Helios. I'm not giving that up for a scary story. You're back. Wonderful. I get flashes of inspiration whenever we chat. Really? That's good, right? Oh, yes. You know, my mentor had strong feelings about inspiration and the gathering thereof. Inspiration must be seized, Matthias, she'd say. Grab it by the throat and don't let go. Well, she didn't actually say throat, but something else. Philo Ray had no time for propriety. Philo Ray taught you? I've heard she was a brilliant arcanist. And the reason I'm not dead in a ditch. How did you meet? I, uh, uh robbed her. That really was not what I was expecting. She was a fancy lady, I was a street kid, what would you have done? Okay, fine. I probably would have robbed her too. Can you blame me? All I saw was a case full of expensive looking things. I knew they had to be worth something to someone, so I grabbed the case. Shaper relics. I didn't realize the danger. I got lucky, nothing blew up when I took it apart. But Phyla had followed me. It was impossible for an unschooled vagrant to silence a relic, she said. That made her want to teach you? I think so. She never explained. Maybe it was the way I handled the relic. It took her an hour to convince me to go with her. A whole hour? It's a wonder she didn't give up. I would have. Oh, once Phyla Ray gets an idea into her head, nothing will dislodge it. She sat down with me and talked to me about the Arcanists, about the Shapers. I was hooked. Then she sealed the deal with caramels. Sweet. Really? <laughs> what? They were good. I was hungry. She was the first to call me a prodigy. Damn, I miss her. Anyway, I... You're probably busy. We can talk later. Wonderful you have some time to help. I have several things that need attention, especially finding more of those runes. Hey! Here's some details. My research shows a possible cache of Arcanist documents. It's very exciting. Let's go. Okay, I'm on. Keep going. 
sufficient. Yes, I think that should be it. Or something important has just come up. It won't take long. I may have another location for rooms. I'll need your help scouting the area out. I'll check it out.
guards are overtaking this area. Dangerous things. Got it. Lucky Jack. We've got the basics running smooth. Anything else? So sorry.
Hey, buddy. You're getting it done out there. You saying that in general, or...? <laughs> Owen's quick to brag. Not that you haven't earned it, right? I couldn't do this without Owen. Keep it up and they'll be talking about us all over Bastion. You're raising our name. We're getting more offers. I've started color coding the ledgers. It's beautiful. What about you? Any exciting jobs? Well, besides paperwork? Remember that arcane vault job my buddies and I took? How'd it go? We fly out there and my cipher picks up the vault's location. But it's locked. My buddies and I split up to find the tuning points that will crack it. There's grabbits hopping around. Nice and quiet. Those jobs are good, too. This isn't one of them. We pop the vault open, but we've attracted Wolven. No problem. We have what we came for. Just take off, right? My one buddy, his kid sister, loves that radio show about the crime fight in Grabbit, Detective Hop's Mysteries. He's going on that we can't let Hop's die, what'll he tell the kid, and I can't say I'm not with him. Next thing you know, I'm booking it with a Grabbit in my arms while the other two are flying back to the Arcanist. Do all your missions go like this? Like what? Oddly upbeat? <laughs> Sad story corner can wait for another day. You took a risk. Don't we all? For some grabbits. It's a point in our ledger either way. Speaking of which, I'll leave you to it. I have it. I finally have it. What's going on? The runes were indeed the key. Madness to think they were there all the time, waiting. You found something? An excellent question, to which I have an excellent answer. The final resting place of the Elysian Manuscript. Sounds like I'm going on expedition. The runes speak of a special vault in a high tower built on a mountaintop. Objects of power were brought there. Shaper relics, artifacts from beyond the Hesperian Tide. And a manuscript? Indeed. A very special manuscript. Okay, tower on a mountaintop. Shouldn't be too hard to find, right? All right there. Looks like this is your lucky day. Why's that? You just bumped into the oldest man in Fort Tarsis. Name's Jarek. Nice to meet you. You too. You know, you don't live as long as I have without seeing some things. Yeah? Like what? I was there when the Scars swarmed the Fort's terraces. It was a bloodbath. Happened over 50 years ago, and it feels like yesterday. I was also there when the scars came over the walls. What do you think about that? I think you've seen a lot. You bet I have. More than you ever will, that's for sure. I hope you're right. Oh, I am, Freelancer. I've lived a life filled with bloodshed and disaster. I've survived strider ambushes, dominion attacks and outlaws. I've even run from wyverns. I've seen enough death the last 50 lifetimes. And yet, somehow, I'm still kicking. So what's your secret to survival? It ain't no secret. I'm a pragmatist. I always did what I had to in order to survive. Sounds like you made some tough choices. You tell me. I was in a mining crew digging for ore near Heliost when the main shaft collapsed. We were trapped behind a solid wall of rock. We had no idea of how long it would take for the rescue party to dig us out. I was lucky enough to find a bottle of water. But there were six of us. One bottle of water for six miners? How many of you made it out? I was the only survivor. You're tough as nails. That's why you're still alive. I guess so. You guess? How else does one man live while five perish? I just... 
did what I had to do. Yeah, and you were lucky. I sure was. I guess you need at least a little good fortune to become the oldest man in Fort Tarsus. In some ways, I am lucky. You cheered me up, Freelancer. Thank you. You're welcome, old-timer. Maybe next time we meet, I'll tell you how I survived the massacre on the terraces. I shouldn't have been digging in there anyway. So did you hear anything about that guy and the thing? I'm so glad to see you. I've been wanting to warn you about the bar owner. Okay. Her name is Max. All right. Now be careful with her. I'm telling you this as a friend. I wouldn't consider us friends. Well, maybe not yet, but I feel like we're getting to know each other and that's a start, right? Well... Don't answer. What you need to know is that Max might be connected to regulators. Word in the fort is, if you owe her money and don't pay up, you could end up face down in a scar encampment, torn apart by Wyvern. But if she's got regulator connections, why wouldn't she turn you over to them? Hey, I'm just telling you what I heard, because I don't want you to get hurt. Mm. Thanks for the heads up. You're welcome, my friend. <laughs>